Hey everybody, welcome to Techie World. Today we're gonna go over the 7 best personal aircraft coolest passenger drones and flying cars in 2021. Make sure to watch until number 1 because it's one of the most amazing gadgets I've ever seen. Travelers have long envied the birds. The need for flying cars and the interest around it in the last couple of years is that there are several breakthroughs. You have weight-saving capabilities, carbon fiber composite techniques being cheaper and more efficient. So the need for new mobility on the ground is improving. Flying cars such as the PAL V Liberty offer drive practicality doing 300 miles easily. Then there are flying cars for cities and they'll come. Some of the brightest engineers in the world are racing to make science fiction as flying taxis a reality. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 7. E Hang 184 Guangzhou E Hang Intelligent Technology Incorporated Limited is a company based in Guangzhou, China that develops and manufactures autonomous aerial vehicles AAVs and passenger AAVs which have entered service in China for aerial cinematography, photography, emergency response and survey missions. The Ehang 184 is constructed using a composite material of carbon fiber and epoxy with aerial aluminum alloy. It flies in an inverted U-shaped base on altitude as well as the latitude of the origin and termination points. The vehicle has four arms and occupies the same parking space as consumer cars when the arms are folded. It has an unfolded total span of 18 feet 5.5 meters and folded span of 5 foot and 3 inches 1.6 meters. The vehicle includes a trunk and power system composed of four arms and eight propellers at the bottom. The aircraft can take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for a runway. It has a horizontal shaft distance of 242.2 cm and a vertical shaft distance of 238.8 cm. It's embedded with an E-Hang failsafe system that'll make the aircraft land in the nearest possible area to ensure safety in the event of malfunction or disconnect off components. It also includes a downward-facing video camera. The external dimensions of the vehicle include a length of 3.86 meters, a width of 3.89 meters, and a net height of 1.44 meters. The bottom clearance is 21 centimeters, and the arm angle is 7.5 degrees. Number 6. Volocopter VC200 Volocopter GmbH, formerly called Evolo GmbH, is a German aircraft manufacturer based in Bruchel near Karlsruhe and founded by Alexander Zossel and Stefan Wolf. The company specializes in the design of electric multirotor helicopters in the form of personal air vehicles designed for air taxi use. Designed based on the Evolo VC-1 proof-of-concept helicopter, the VC-200 helicopter is constructed using a lightweight fiber composite material. It's a vertical takeoff and landing platform with hovering capability. The design can serve as a base platform for developing manned aircraft or heavy-duty drones. The airframe is fitted with a number of independently driven rotors providing necessary thrust and buoyancy. Each rotor hub houses a two-bladed propeller the angle of the blades can't be adjusted. The helicopter generates less noise and achieves zero emissions through replaceable energy sources. Its maintenance cost is very low since it features no mechanical control parts. The bearings of the electric motors and rotors also run with no wear and tear. The VC-200 aircraft completed its maiden flight at DM Arena in Karlsruhe in November 2013. Manufacturing and installation of the electronic components of the aircraft were completed in August 2015. Test flights of the prototype aircraft were concluded in November 2015. The VC-200 helicopter is the second in series of multi-rotor designs that received permission from the German aviation authorities to fly as an ultralight aircraft in February 2016. The first manned flight of the aircraft was conducted at an airfield in southern Germany in March 2016. Number 5. Terrafugia Transition With retractable wings and wheels, the Transition is another hybrid model designed to be equally at home on the ground and in the skies. That's not the only way that the Transition is a true hybrid model, however. It's powered by a gasoline-electric hybrid drivetrain that features a boost mode for an extra burst of speed when flying. In the past, the Transition was expected to eventually sell at $280,000, but these days the company is refraining from providing a list price. It sounds a little bit like a pipe dream, 
but keep in mind that Terrafugia is now owned by Geely, a company firm whose growing portfolio of brands includes Volvo, Lotus, Polestar, and the London taxi company, a roughly 10% stake in Mercedes-Benz parent company Daimler, and half of the smart car brand. If anyone has pockets deep enough to build a flying car, it's Geely. Number 4. Aeromobile 3.0 Aeromobile, the flying car, is the core product of the Slovakia-based company Aeromobile. It has been in development since 1989, when Stefan Klein, the founder and head of the Department of Transport Design at the Academy of Fine Arts in Slovakia, began working on a concept of a flying car. The goal of having a production-ready flying car in 2017 isn't just plucked out of the air either. Talking at SXSW, the CEO of Aeromobile, Juraj Vakulik, outlined the company's future goals based on a host of fully functioning prototypes that have already taken to the skies. Currently operating in the form of Aeromobile 3.0, the prototype vehicle is a peculiar entity to behold. With the folding wings set to the road, the Aeromobile's top structure is reminiscent of a grasshopper, the wings sitting very neatly atop the vehicle and the propeller sitting fairly ominously between the brake lights. It'd certainly be a spectacle out on the road, with the touch of a button, however, the fully automated wings unfold themselves and swing outwards. At this point, the Aeromobile doesn't look quite as strange. Watching the official Aeromobile 3.0 video, it's hard to not find the vehicle oddly mesmerizing and exciting. Regardless of the working prototypes, three years to create a production-ready vehicle is quite a tall order. The company currently faces the difficult task of finding a material that is strong enough to pass road safety crash tests but is still light enough for flight. They'll then have to tackle all of the stringent regulations of both road vehicles and aircraft. Number 3. Aston Martin Volante Vision Even Aston Martin once in, in 2018, the British sports car manufacturer introduced a design study named Volante Vision that offered space for three passengers arranged in a triangular configuration. The company noted Rolls-Royce, the plane maker, not the car maker, provided the Volante Vision's powertrain. Aston Martin also partnered with Cranfield University and Cranfield Aerospace Solutions to develop this concept. So far, Aston Martin has released some computer-generated images of the conceptual vehicle and mentioned a vertical takeoff feature for this autonomous hybrid vehicle. Number 2. PAL V Liberty The PAL V Liberty is a combination of a car and an autogyro or gyroplane under development by PAL V. Both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license are required to operate the vehicle. The PAL V Liberty is capable of seating two people, has 100 horsepower and a top speed of 100 miles per hour, and is currently available in two iterations. For approximately 356,000 US dollars, you can get the standard sports edition, while for around 593,000 US dollars, PAL V will sell you the Pioneer edition, which comes fitted with every option ticked and is limited to just 390 units worldwide. Bojanu Metz, PAL V is the developer and producer of the world's first commercial flying car, so that means on the roads it's just like an average car going up to speeds of 100 miles per hour easily. If you go to your nearest airstrip, you can start your own conversion from car to flight mode in less than 10 minutes and get flying. You can go wherever with a range of 300 miles or 3 hours of flying. You can get from the UK to Amsterdam or Paris, and when you touch down there, fill it up with normal petrol and drive onwards. Number 1. Porsche Boeing Flying Taxi Porsche and Boeing linked arms to explore whether there's a market for flying taxis, the partners have their work cut out, they first need to figure out what luxury looks like in this burgeoning sector and then determine how to deliver it profitably. International teams of engineers from both companies have started fine-tuning a concept previewed by a sketch of a sleek wing vehicle with a wraparound windshield. The project is still in the embryonic stage, so the final design could very well change. But the firms imagine a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that's fully electric, stylish, and innovative. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the following videos.